Everybody hates the 4060 Ti. Hey guys, Jason here, and on today's video, we're gonna be recapping all the reviews from our beloved and esteemed PC and gaming enthusiasts. The RTX 4060 Ti has become one of the most hated cards, and here's why. I think an eight gigabyte graphics card for $400 US is complete and utter garbage. It is laughably bad. I for one think we should be grateful to NVIDIA for the 4060 Ti. I mean, sure, we've waited over a year for a card that's only 10% faster in rasterized games. And sure, they didn't upgrade the eight gigs of VRAM from last gen, but at least they didn't downgrade it like they did with the memory bus. And besides, it's just a hundred dollars more if you want the other eight gigs. That seems totally reasonable when NVIDIA's cost is somewhere between 20 and $35. At least you won't have to wait months for the drivers to get good. Okay, that last one wasn't sarcasm. 2016 called and it wants its resolution back, which was apparently 1080p. NVIDIA, a company that previously paid influencers to make videos about 8K gaming on 3090 cards, is now marketing its new $400 RTX 4060 for 1080p. Great. The RTX 4060 Ti 8 gigabyte is one of the worst GPU launches from Nvidia that we've ever covered. And we don't want to waste anyone's time here. I was really hoping for like 12 or at least 10 gigabytes of VRAM on this thing, but uh, they decided to give it eight. And then later on in July, they will have a 16 gigabyte variant of the 4060 Ti. It will be exactly the same GPU with the same specs, but with double the VRAM and also $100 more. Speaking of dollars, this will cost you 399 US dollars MSRP, which is the same price as the 3060 Ti released. Well, kind of. Like it, when it released, it was like 900 bucks or something, but still. <laughs> the MSRP is the same as the last generation, so at least it didn't go up. And the 3060 Ti was a very good card for the price back in 2020 when it released. But it's been two and a half years, guys, and what did they improve on this thing? Well, compared to the 3060 Ti, it's 15% faster. Now with a newer game. In Cyberpunk 2077 at 4K, Nvidia makes a miraculous recovery, one that parallels only No Man's Sky, and it lays claim to an impressive, staggering 5.4% improvement over the 3060 Ti. This is a. Uh, this is actually like. It's a, this is actually unbelievable. Okay, while I often say that the specs for a GPU don't matter, what matters is the performance. Sometimes the performance makes no sense and we've got to dig into the specs to find out why. The 4060 Ti is based on an 8106 die that boosts up to 2.5 gigahertz with 4352 CUDA cores, 136 fourth gen tensor cores, and 34 third gen ray tracing cores, all of which sounds sufficiently next gen. What doesn't is that the eight gigs of VRAM that we've talked about so much already is on a 128 bit bus. Compared to the 3060 Ti, which had double that, that is a major cost-cutting measure that seems to have significantly harmed the 4060 Ti in memory-intensive applications. For context, guys, back in the 600 series days, you had to go all the way down to the 650 Ti, which cost $150 to find such a budget-conscious memory interface. But, to NVIDIA's credit, cheap bastards that they are, you can't ignore how well it kept up the majority of the time. As far as buying advice goes, as I've already said, absolutely do not buy this thing for $400 US. It is laughably bad at that price. Look, if it had 16 gigabytes of VRAM for $400 US, then I think it would be okay. Let me know what you think about that in the comments, of course. But yeah, I don't think it'd be amazing. Uh, but not unbelievably horrible either. Should you buy one for 400 bucks? I think it's a tough sell with those eight gigabytes of memory. Performance wise, I mean, it, it's a tough sell in performance as well, honestly. We're getting 15% more performance, raw performance without the DLSS stuff, um, compared to what we had two and a half years ago. That's uh, uh, that's not what I expected. I, I really thought with the massive performance jump of the 4090 over the 3090 Ti that the mid-range this year would be insane. Turns out it's 15% faster. Yeah. Look no further than the $100 upcharge for 20 bucks of memory. So if I was a cynic, and I am, 
I would say that the pricing structure here is just a way of manufacturing FOMO so that you'll upsell yourself to spend more than maybe you should. Thankfully though, we do still have some competition in the space. If power consumption, ray tracing, and DLSS aren't major concerns for you, the 6700 XT from AMD is a compelling option with more rumored to be coming. And this one was a big shocker, ARC actually put up a pretty decent fight today, especially if you consider the $350 price. Although the names are in one aspect arbitrary, it is, as we've mentioned before, a death of the author scenario where it is not arbitrary to the buyer. And that's what matters. That's the mindset that Nvidia lacks, which is the name 4060 carries with it at least some level of expectation, some level of, although not as high as an 80 class, prestige. And it lacks that here. It behaves more like, say, a 4050. And launching a card that is functionally equivalent to, at times, up to 20% better than the last generation similarly named product at the same price, while, yes, Noble NVIDIA, thank you for not increasing the price, it's just not good enough. And that's all we really have to say about this card. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, do give it a like and let me know your thoughts down in the comments. See you in the next one.